my Leos, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Now, I am reading for November 3rd through the 9th. I've done an overview. Stay calm. Please watch it. And always remember that these are general readings. May or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Oh, my Leo, change is a coming. You've got uh, Mars going into Leo season. I mean, into Leo. Things are shifting for you. So stay focused. Ask God, source, your guides, whoever that is for you, to help you through this transformation, okay? Something is changing for you. Change is never easy, but it can be very, very worthwhile. So let's see what else do we have here for my Leos, for God's Leos. Let's see. What else for your Leos? What else for your Leos? Here we go. Change, change, change. Butterflies are free. Here we go. All right. First card, Knight of Raphael. Well, so the Knight's underlying energy is fire, your energy. Uh, Raphael is water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A lot of that going on for this week, too. There's an emotional component to this. So Knights are directional, one, but they have to figure you know their way, first of all. But there is this, this night is just so emotion, so emotionally driven. Yes, this is what I want. Yes, this is where I'm going to go. There is drama. There is, there is possibilities. There are so many things happening with this. There is love. There is just, yes, this is where I want to do, what I want to do. This is what I want. It's finding your space. It's finding your place. So romantic, dramatic poetic, introspective, committed romantic relationships, being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. So whatever this change is, it's you, you want this change. This is like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Here we go. Next card. Three of Ariel. Three is about celebration, creation, the power of three. Ariel is your earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo money, job, career. This is all about finding your space and doing what you want to do in that space. This is, you know, like I coming, coming down while this is, you know, flying high, this is coming down to earth, but finding that earth is a good space for you. This is being creative in what it is that you do, especially for a living. So this is, a, like I said, big change, major change here for you. Do what you love a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. Finding your space, finding your place. Kind of, you know, because that's what, you know, your, um, Uranus in Taurus was supposed to come to that point, and we're coming towards the end. Um, Uranus will transition to uh, Gemini, and that'll be fun, towards the, um, what is it, towards the middle of... Um, 2025. So this is this is the time to find your space, find your place. Next card, 10 of Gabriel. Now, 10s are transitional energy. So something is shifting for you. Gabriel is your energy. It's also Gemini, I mean, I'm sorry, it's also Aries and Sagittarius. Sagittarius has good energy in it right now too. This is passionate, burning and determined. The only thing about the 10 of Gabriel. So there's a big shift happening. There's doing what you love. However, you, there, the Ten of Gabriel has burdens on it. The Ten of Gabriel is, I've got so much to do. Can I really free myself? Can I really get to this point? So the, I think there's a conflict between these first two cards. I feel like there's going to be an offer. There's going to be this opportunity. You just may not see how to take it. You may not see how to step into it. But the card will tell you to ask for help. So... Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. Okay, so it's kind of like there's this shift, there's this change, there's this all oh, this opportunity that's being that's being shown to me. <coughs> How am I going to do it? There's too much for me to do. How am I going to do it? Do not refuse this. Do not refuse this. Ask your angels. Ask God. You know, God. What you brought me to, you'll bring me through. So you're bringing me this, then you're going to have to show me a way to get it done. Okay? 
Next card. Let's see. Let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. So we have a 310013. Let's see. Higher power. What else is there? What else is there for Leos? What else is there for our Leos? Seven of action. So this is a seven, the divine umbrella. Action is our fire energy also. Ah, has a little snowball there. Okay, Leos, you're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others. That's the interesting part. Maybe you feel like you're the one that everybody leans on. Maybe you know, kind of a little ego there with this, like, oh, nobody can get this done without me. So that may be the part of it, but your angels are going to help you, and you're being called to claim your personal power. How, how cool is that? Okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, do me a favor, my Leos. Please go down here to the like, share, subscribe, clicking on that bell for notifications. As always, always know, always remember, you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.